there are two glides in English, u and i. And these consonants are kind of special. Um, the articulatory position for w is very similar uh, as the articulatory position for the vowel u. Um, if I say u followed by e, u e, you can hear that I sort of go through that consonant u. Likewise, the consonant y is um, similar in its articulation to the vowel e. Um, for this reason, um, you know, the glides are sometimes called semi-vowels. They have a, a vowel-like quality. And so you can imagine that the degree of closure uh, for these consonants is going to be minimal because they're going to be sort of um, like the, um, the vowels. The, the nature of a vowel is that, uh, in spoken languages, is that the oral tract is relatively open. Consonants um, are constrictions, um, but glides have a, a minimal closure. Um, you can probably also guess if there's minimal closure, what will the amount of pressure be? It will also be nominal. So, um, and you can feel that Ooh, very little pressure. Um, the release, uh, gradual. If I hold them, they will start to sound vowel like. Ooh, starts to sound like. Ooh. If I hold uh, y, y, it starts to sound like e. Um, the uh, timing of the pressure release, um, the release uh, accompanies the closure. And um, what do you think? Do you think it's turbulent or laminar? E, it's going to be laminar, uh, not very turbulent sounds. Hope that helps.